Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is your host Majestic speaking and today we're going to be looking back into some more Mech Warrior online here and today I'm going to be taking out one of my favorites of all time. This is the Mad Dog or some like to call it the Vulture. I prefer the Vulture because I don't know, I just think it sounds better. <laughs> but anyway, so what we're going to be looking at here, first I'll show you my loadout. I have three uh, clan SRM6s with Artemis so that they track to the target. Um, I have four medium pulse lasers and then I filled the rest with ammo. Um, and I do have a 1.17 heat management ratio so I do have to be careful about that when firing you know all these and then you know the, the lasers and so forth. So I'm going to group them up. Probably put two, two and then all the missiles together. I don't want the missiles to be out of sync. So. Um, I will be using them in that per respect. So let me change my armor up a little bit here. Again, I also I always like to only keep five in the back. And then we should be squared away. Obviously, I put the uh, Clan Smoke Jaguar camo on it because that is the clan, faction, whatever you want to call it, in the game that I support. Um, and, you know, I, I just really, I, I read the backstory a little bit on them, and I feel like that is suited mostly to my gameplay. They're very aggressive, unyielding, and I just feel like that's that's pretty much how my gameplay style is. So let's drop into the maps here. Hopefully we get three good matches. That's what we're going to look for. And I think I might do a series of three on this, just because I do love the, the Mad Dog or Vulture so much. Um that, uh, you know, maybe I'll use up the different variants, I'll switch out the Omnipods, and a lot of people were asking, um, you know, what the difference is, why, you know, if it's if it's an A variant Mad Dog or Vulture, um, you know, and you can switch out all the Omnipods, then how does it make it an A Vulture? Well, it's essentially just the chassis that you're that you're working with. Um, the chassis doesn't change, but you could just switch out the weapons. That's that's the only difference is that the Omnipods actually, uh, you know, you, you you switch out the hard points so that it's configurable to one of the other variants loadouts. So you're not actually changing the the actual variant itself. You're just applying the space and. Uh, uh, capabilities of one of the other variants of the same mech so that's what the cool part about it is uh so that's you know i know people had been asking about that because with inner sphere it's not the same so you know that's that's what the whole difference is but just in case you wanted to know that's that's what it is but so here we go we are going to be dropping on River City now, and again, I'm going to give you guys three rounds, and all I have to hope for is that they are good, that you guys enjoy them. That's the whole point of this channel, so, you know, hopefully you do, and if not, then, well, maybe switch over to someone else. But uh, don't forget about the giveaway also going on, uh, you know, which is, you know, just draw a meme, a cartoon, a drawing, whatever you want to call it, of something funny, and, uh, you know, switch it over, um, and send it to me through an email. And let's get started here. It's like to the reason why I didn't move there for a second was I was I was looking to see where the uh, direction of the rest of the team was going to go first because I was debating to either to go to, through the E7 line or where I'm going now. And it looks like everyone's focusing on on, on heading forward, uh, just straight ahead in towards the citadel, which I believe is where we are headed. Is that the citadel? Yes, that is the citadel. Gonna weave in and out of the city buildings. There we go. <laughs> so, again, this is River City. It looks like it's turning to dusk. And I'm gonna have to group up my weapons. That's the other thing that I that I needed to remember. I'm going to make these my threes and fours, and then all of my missiles I'm going to use as two. Again, I want to group them all together, 
two and two for the for the lasers just so that they don't overheat i think you know segmenting them between two and two is probably the best bet and then firing all the missiles at one time it might bring up the heat a lot but at the same time you don't want them to be misaligned when firing so you know just keep that in mind if you do decide to use weapons uh, like missiles that you don't want them to be firing at different rates because I always get confused I'll, I'll, I'll admit it right now I get I get really confused sometimes if I fire off one and then I don't know if the others reloaded yet or cooled down it's just uh, not good <laughs> Looks like they took Upper City, which is fine. Oops, do not want to walk into that. We have a very aggressive team here, and I like this, because we're taking them from the more advantageous direction, uh, you know, going towards Upper City. We're not taking them from, uh, you know, the, the water, in other words, the river. So this is this is much better because you know it's, it provides a decent flank and you can hide behind the mountains here. But when you're on the in the river, it's, you're pretty exposed. So a lot of people don't realize that and they they wind up charging in. My back was getting torn up there. I don't know how that happened. And it looks like they left the upper city because it is completely vacated now. I think they were using those uh, those light mechs as scouts, really, just to see if we would follow them. And uh, you know that's a pr pretty good move on their part. Although they did lose a mech, I don't think that they uh, really care that much because, well. Go. The assist and our team is so aggressive. They don't even stop. Which I like. He's going to be firing at me with those auto cannons. So, not really looking forward to that. Hide under the bridge. Go ahead, brah. Shoot me with your missiles. We're up three zips, so there's no reason for me to get too aggressive. You know, if I have a week left torso, don't need to overexpose. We are moving as a group. It's a, we have a death ball going here, as they like to call it. Now we're up four zero. And that is nice. I like those missiles. The SRMs without the lock. You know, the the streaks. In other words, I don't like using the streaks. I feel like it's cheap. I'd rather I'd rather shoot them like a man. There we go. No. Woo! Nice. Get my heat down a little bit. Don't want to lose my arm. Especially since we're up 6 nothing. No reason. No reason at all to get too aggressive and start losing weapons and body parts just because I, I, I want to get aggressive and get the kill. Nice. Target acquired. Seven zip. Looks like they are acquired. Target. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was sick. I love this loadout. Might need to worry a little bit about the heat just because of the fact that, you know, my cool shots they work, but you know, not as well as I would like. Destroyed. Could have got him. New target they have one left, a Marauder, and he looks like he's going down pretty quickly. Target and there destroyed. you go. 12 zip. No one died.
that was that was a stomp <laughs> and I haven't had a stomp in a pug match in a while so definitely definitely enjoyed that one um, just from the standpoint that everyone was on the same page very quickly made a decision everyone committed no one you know no one fell back no one you know stood behind and, and waited or tactically like thought like oh wait and clean up after everyone else runs in everyone was on the same page and that's what you have to appreciate about you know when the when you're playing with other with other random players and you're not in the group queue is that it's not you you can't find that very often you know it's just it's very difficult to find a 12-man pug group that's willing to put their neck out there and and help you out when they don't even know you so and the communication i mean i know voip is enabled and everything so we just did this so i'm gonna go either we're gonna be on river city again aren't we Yep, it's looking like River City. Dang. And Conquest. Wow. Well, I just did River City, so that's not appealing. And I everyone knows I don't like Conquest, so that's not appealing. Perfect! Best day ever, right? <laughs> oh, boy. By the way, I hope everything I said before made sense. I feel like I was talking... My phone was buzzing, and it was distracting, so... Sorry if it's confusing. If, if none of the stuff I said before made sense. Say hi to my buddy Asta. He's on the other side. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. Time to get back on the grind here. All systems terminal. I just don't like conquest. I really don't. And you know what? Uh, since I have a fourth button, I will switch that over to one. And you know what? I am somewhat a creature of habit, so I'm going to go straight. Wee! Ah, oh, I hurt my legs. It wasn't that far of a jump. I guess it's the tonnage that makes it different. <laughs> you know, in a heavy mech versus a light mech. No, they, the light mechs can make those jumps because it's less tonnage coming down. Where am I going? Between these buildings. That's where I'm going. Good thing, like, buildings, while you're walking through them and you're scraping your arms up against them, that doesn't do damage because I'd probably not have any arms left <laughs> by, the, by, like, a quarter of the way through the match. I'd just be, you know, a zombie mech. I do like the loadout that I have on this, simply because of the fact that it's, you know, it's a combination, I mean, you know, it's kind of like a Stormcrow, but at the same time, it's, uh, you know, it caters specifically to the fact that the, all the torso mounted weapons are strictly going to be for missiles, so, you know, it, when you keep that in mind, it makes it a lot lot easier to uh, cope with because you know that you're going to be using missiles and I'm not very good with missiles I'll, I'll be the first to admit I'm not very good with missiles so it's a learning experience but I figured I would give you some gameplay on it anyway now you got to go out of your comfort zone once in a while right all I do is lasers and ballistics you guys are probably fed up with that by now Gotta remind everyone to stick together.
So it looks like got one coming over towards the bridge. I think that's where I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna post up at least towards the bridge. And he looks like he is out of position as well as whoever that is across the bridge. Go, Krabby. Nice. And that's what the danger is of <laughs> exposing yourself like that to go for a mech. Is Someone over there has got dual goss, it looks like. Uh, never, it looks like everyone's pushing. Don't want to be the one left behind. And don't want to be the coward that's sitting in the back. Push up with everyone. That's the only way that they're going to survive. It's the only way that you're going to survive. New target acquired. Provide support. That's that's what you have to do. That's the name of the game. It's commu It's it's a team effort. Again, you can't be. You don't want to be left behind and and be that guy sitting in the back, being the last one left, running around. Unless you're a light mech, but. Nice, got him. Even though he overheated, come on team, help me out here. Target acquired. New target acquired. Nope, he's not there. Woof. Brutal. Target acquired. Brutal, brutal, brutal. These guys uh target gonna go destroyed. down. Who's left? They have three left, and I think they're all yeah, they're all over on the other side. Which is fine. We'll hunt you down. We will find you. Someone's up there. Over at Theta. Target acquired. This hunchback. What does he have? Uh, he's got six mediums. Yeah! That was sick. Love that. Great way to end that round. Second match out of three. Do one more for you guys with this. And we'll do one more. Drop right back into the queue here. Again, I like this loadout, especially now that I switched up my buttons a little bit. So it's like, you know, you fire two of the two of the SRM sixes at once. You know, you fire all four lasers at once. It doesn't overheat. I still have the cool shots. And you stay in the game. I mean that's that's the name of the game, right? Ooh, perfect. Please, please let this be something in my favor. <laughs> no conquest, people. Please, no conquest. But yeah, yeah, well, no, 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 wrong way. Wrong. Hey, 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 come on. Are you freaking kidding me? Damn it. Conquest. Why? Why? I don't get it. I really don't. Can so if someone can explain to me in the description section below why people like Conquest or they enjoy it thoroughly, please. I would really like to know because I haven't and I still won't and I don't think I ever will enjoy this. And especially the more that I keep dropping with it. You know, or dropping into matches like this. And look who is on my side. The beef. <laughs> <laughs> wow what a great what a great find 
That's awesome. Reactor online. Sensors online. Wow. And bear claws on the other side. Wow. All systems nominal. This is gonna be a good round for you guys. I hope that you've stuck with the 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 entire video so far. I'm really excited about this one. Got some real real heavyweights going into this battle. Very excited to go go through this one. Where he is there? He is. Where he is, there he is. <laughs> you can tell I'm really, I really have the concentration of a peanut when it comes to chatting and, you know, playing this at the same time. <laughs> I just wanted to know where, uh, where, where the legend stood. But Bear Claw is definitely one of those guys that we're gonna have to watch out for. Target acquired. And they are charging up that hill. Here they come. New target. Okay. I don't know if I got it. I might, is he in range? Get if he's in range. And I'm getting lit up now. I'm gonna stand back a little bit. I don't want to be overexposed out in the middle by myself. Here they come. <laughs> this is a, this is an intense match as you can tell already. It's about as intense as you're ever going to see in Mech Warrior Online. Especially when it's a random pug drop. Get this Atlas. Hey. He's going to get my right torso if I don't be careful. No. SRM destroyed. Woo. Pulse laser destroyed. And bear claws laser down. Destroyed. Looks like we might be able to pull this one off. New target acquired. There we go. Got my kill. New target acquired. New target yep. acquired. Or is it EAP? Target destroyed. Oh. Target nice. That was awesome. I, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. Even Look, it was Conquest. I mean, no one really cares. I mean, that's the kind of game that I like, especially when you're with these more experienced veterans. You know, that's... Wow, you only lost three guys? 
Give 429. How'd the, how'd the beef do? 452 in, in his uh, cheetah. Nice. So overall, excellent, excellent rounds. I thoroughly enjoyed all of them. Some I got, uh, that last one I might have gotten a little aggressive on that Atlas. I thought maybe you know, I got his arms off and so forth. You know, he was focus focusing on my torso. Um, I got him though, and that's, uh, well, we, eventually we got him, I should say, but I kept myself in the game, and I played tacto tactfully, so I hope you guys realize that and can appreciate that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, remember about the giveaway. Uh, again, just have to send in a funny cartoon, meme, drawing, whatever you want. And uh, send it over to me through an email, and the top five selections completely subjective, so don't be offended if I don't pick you, or if I make a comment about yours. <laughs> um, but I have already received a few submissions, and I'm super excited to see what the rest of you guys have in store. The, the giveaway ends in a week, so uh, you know I'll probably make it till you know this time next week, so it's a Saturday and everyone has time to get all that done but again thank you guys so much for uh tuning into the channel today again i'm gonna do another uh a couple more videos on the vulture with a couple different loadouts and a couple and show you like with the omnipods how things work so if you want to tune into that in case you want to see how the clan mechs uh work or uh you know the different ways in which you can improve what you're doing with a clan mech I'll be doing that in a couple future videos I'll, i might even build out one of my one of my vultures um, in here, you know, I, I have a couple of them. So, you know, I have, I have what, four? Yeah, you get four. Um, an A, B, the prime, and the C. So, you know, I could, I, I could definitely go through one of them at least and, and show you guys how that, how that all works. How the Omnipods work and make a custom loadout and then take it into the battle so you can see that. I have gotten a couple fan requests, so I do plan on doing, um, the fan request builds pretty soon. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much again for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Take care.